I realize I need to add the um, the back plate or whatever the term is. Oh my God, nine channels, 12, 12 channels. You know, I'd like to try out a helical axial mode antenna because, well, I just don't get hardly any TV reception out here and perhaps a very directional antenna like that, very nice and focused one, could do a good job of getting me some TV. A helical axial mode antenna is basically just a, a helix of wire and then it broadcasts and receives in the, the like the access of the, uh, the helix. So one thing I think I can do is I can simplify this by wrapping it around something instead of having it just like freestanding or whatever. And then it occurred to me, with the frequency that I'm working with, I could actually take two 2x4s, two screw them together, like imagine them a lot longer than that, and then I can actually have the wire going around like that, hook it on each side like every half turn, and that would be a nice sturdy way to build a cheap little antenna. All right, I got my calculations all wrong. So evidently it's not the length of the wavelength that is one half or one full circumference. Actually, it's a bit different because I forgot it's a helix, so, or helical, so it is um, actually like kind of more like an oval shape, so it's weird. So here's the better calculations. And plus, actually it turns out that this is smaller, so this is exactly seven inches, so it makes things easier. So it makes this a 540 megahertz, and I'm aiming for like 550, so that's perfect. The diameter should be 7 inches, so that's 7 inches. Between coils should be 5.5 inches, like that. And then 24 inches all around. So that means that it's only 1 foot per side. Now, I'm not so sure... Oh, wait, no, it would be... Oh, right, okay, so the actual length is 22, we're going to 24 for the... I'm sorry, I, I forgot that that also affected that. So 5.5 inches is between that and... So it should be 5.5 inches when it comes back down to here, so it should be half of that, or 1 and... one or 2.75 inches. I hate Imperial, but I know you guys will probably like it most because... For the most part, this is for the United States. Other countries probably have different standards. Okay, so I'm going to change that. It's a shame I don't have a good way to fasten it other than tape, but whatever. So we marked out 5.5 inches. So that will be going there. I'm trying to straighten this out a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm going to go ahead and mark out some more of these. Going by 5.5 inches each. Oh wait, no. Yes, going 5.5 by five, because these are offset by 2 and 3 quarters. Okay. This is so cool. So let's um oh wait, we have to make the reflector on the back. Almost forgot. Oh and good news, my TV decided to have sound again. I think it has a loose connection in there somewhere. 14! <gasps> 15! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't think I've ever had this work this well at this level. I think I should move it that way, one row, 
But yeah, I think it's pretty nice and I'm really excited for this. You know, I worry about this thing falling over because if it rolls over, it flattens all these. So I'm gonna add these pieces under here. Skinny again, now we're pointing towards St. Louis and found some more channels. Channel 5, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It seems pretty directional too. That might not be a great thing, but at this distance, that's kind of what you need. So my plans have been a little bit derailed. So I'm not going to hook this onto a pole for now for testing. I was thinking about taking and hooking onto a boom lift at the Rotor Inn that the brick guys were using for the bricks. But the day I was going to do that, several weeks ago, they took them away and they haven't given us any clear answer when they're going to bring them back. Because wouldn't that be awesome to have it like C-clamped onto a boom lift and then have the TV and the, and the converter box up there like 60 feet in the air and you can be up there with the antenna? I thought that'd be a cool video. So I just had this thing stored in the backyard with a tarp over it. It seems like the tape's kind of falling off and my cat was underneath the tarp and kind of messed with the coils and it's just kind of falling apart. The back piece fell off. So I got myself a little metal plate that I can use to screw the back ground plate or whatever on there really nice and sturdily. Then I got myself a bunch of these nail-in staples, steel ones, and those will do a good job of replacing the tape. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reinforce this, kind of finalize the design, and then we're going to take it up the hill. I don't know, the hill's like 50 feet high or so. Kind of like that way up the road. And then we'll see if we can get any better signal because that's kind of up above everything else. Look at that, still works, so that's good. I'm gonna just move the antenna so we get some signal. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. By the way, do you guys like my new little mobile television setup? So we have the digital converter box taped to this little five inch CRT from 1983, I believe. So that's kind of cool. Before I forget, let's try the signal strength level. Max down around 13%. 
So we came up here to the top of the hill and we should have a lot better signal here. You can actually see the courthouse way out there. So up here, just sitting like almost on the ground, we get a really good signal. It's pretty random, but I don't know. It feels like combat territory. Oh, if I stand here, it's different. Interesting. Do a channel scan. Oh my god, nine channels, 12, 12 channels. Oh, so good. There we go. 12 is nice. We have WSEC, WA, COZI, ION, WBUI, THIS, SDAD, WRSP, METV, and ANTE. Yeah, 23% is not bad. I'm really happy with this. So we have all the 55s. 23.3. 17. Yeah, I got that. 14. Uh, yeah, we got that too. Let me go back to 55. That is pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm really happy with that. Please forgive me, I did not charge my battery because I ran out of battery life. But it was probably for the best because I think I need to do some other upgrades before I go back out there and spend too much time trying to get more channels because I think that that converter box needs to be upgraded. The little RCA one, it is kind of, it's, it's, it's crap and a lot of people have already mentioned that that one is particularly bad. So what I've done is I went ahead and ordered a Zenith DTT-901 converter box, which I've heard actually has a, does a better job getting signals, which I never even thought that different TV boxes would pick up on more or less channels. But I figure what we'll do is we'll do a whole another video of just testing it, testing that out with the new box. Well, what we got is, I was pointing north, and we got a lot of the Springfield stations, so that's good. We did not get the Peoria stations that are 100 miles from here. But I'm going to aim for eventually getting CBS's WMBD-DT30, or 31, channel 31. However, the furthest channel that I got was WBUI in Decatur which is that way. So I had this signal, I had the antenna pointing north when I should have had it north, northeast. Sorry, backwards. And then we have another one that was kind of over here that was W40, W40CV-D channel 40. And well, I think something like that. And so obviously this antenna, it is quite directional. But it can also get signals from the side, so that's pretty nice. I might see about making more of these because I think I have, like, I can get like eight or nine more of the same lengths of wire and just make a bunch, just make a huge array. That'd be kind of cool. But I would like you guys' opinion. Do you think that doing that would, like, if you add two of those, would that double? the signal or would that just add like 50% and then adding more it would be like what was the term like inverse square I'm not sure anyway that's what we got so far we got almost 70 miles when it just sitting on the ground on a hill so if I got it on a tower I might be able to actually get some troposphere bounces of some much further stations possibly get Chicago maybe some Canadian stations 
so this is a pipe dream i know but if i ever do move to switzerland it would be cool to get all of europe or if i ever move to hokkaido that would be amazing to get all of japan and like north and south korea and chinese and russian tv stations like and maybe even some alaskan tv stations from like troposphere bounce it'd be so cool oh my god ah well anyway pipe dreams aside i'm really happy with this antenna especially because it only costs a couple dollars to make i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching see ya